Smartly Drug. Hello, welcome to Ask Smartly Drug. My name is Monica and I'm a pharmacist who works with Smartly Drug Pharmacy. So today we're going to talk about commonly asked questions I get for a medication called furosemide, also known as Lasix. Plus, I'm going to share with you some medications you should avoid while taking furosemide. So what is furosemide and how does it work? Furosemide is a prescription medication that's part of a drug class of medications known as loop diuretics, commonly referred to as water pills. This medication works within your kidneys, specifically the loop of henol, hence the name loop diuretics, and eliminates excess water and electrolytes including sodium and potassium, thereby reducing swelling and decreasing blood pressure. And for those that don't know, loop diuretics work by inhibiting the sodium potassium chloride co-transporter located in the loop of henol within your kidneys. This action interferes with the reabsorption of sodium, chloride, and potassium, enhancing their excretion through the nephron. Consequently, water is drawn into the nephron as well, leading to an increase in urine volume. Furosemide is commonly used to treat swelling or edema due to heart failure, liver problems, or kidney problems, and can also be used alone or with other medications to treat high blood pressure or hypertension. This medication is available in a tablet form in dosages that range from 20 40 and 80 milligrams and can be taken by mouth with or without food. However, if it upsets your stomach, try taking it with food. What if I miss a dose? If you do forget to take a dose, take the missed dose as soon as possible. If it's almost time for your next dose, skip the forgotten dose and take your next dose at your regular scheduled time, but do not take two doses at the same time. When is the best time to take furosemide? Ideally, it's recommended to take furosemide in the morning or during the early afternoon. Taking it too close to the morning can result in increased nighttime urination, potentially disrupting sleep. It's also recommended that you try to take this medication at the same time each day because it's much easier to remember to take it that way. What are the side effects of furosemide? Well, like all medications, furosemide has a few side effects. Some common side effects include increased urination, diarrhea or constipation, loss of appetite, numbness or tingling, headache or dizziness, sensitivity to the sun, or blurred vision. So if you're experiencing any of these side effects, be sure to talk with your healthcare provider to determine whether a dose adjustment or switching to a different medication would be beneficial for you. This medication also has the potential to cause potassium loss, which can result in symptoms such as muscle cramps, nausea, or vomiting. In the event of low potassium levels, your healthcare provider may prescribe potassium supplements to address the deficiency. This medication also has the potential to cause potassium loss, which can result in symptoms such as muscle cramps, nausea, or vomiting. So in the event of low potassium levels, your healthcare provider may prescribe potassium supplements to address the deficiency. What are some serious side effects of furosemide? Some serious adverse effects of furosemide that you should be aware of include having low blood pressure, which could cause symptoms like feeling lightheaded or a fainting feeling like you're going to pass out, or ringing in your ears or hearing loss. Another serious adverse effect includes high blood sugar, which could cause symptoms like increased thirst, dry mouth, or blurred vision, or severe dehydration or electrolyte imbalance, which could cause symptoms like increased thirst or urination, dry mouth, muscle weakness, leg cramps, feeling jittery, or fluttering in your chest. So if you're experiencing any of these serious side effects, immediately call your doctor and stop taking this medication. Can furosemide interact with other medications? Yes, it can. Furosemide may interact with certain medications or supplements. So always inform your doctor and pharmacist about any other medications or supplements, including prescribed and over-the-counter, vitamins and dietary or herbal supplements that you're currently taking. It's recommended to avoid using furosemide with medications that could increase your risk of certain side effects, including other diuretics such as ethacrinic acid or lithium or antibiotics including vancomycin or sucralfate. If you're also taking sucralfate, then it's recommended to take your furosemide dose two hours before or two hours after you take sucralfate. You should also avoid using over-the-counter medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. It may cause additional unwanted side effects. So before taking any anti-inflammatory drug, speak with your healthcare provider. There's lots of information on furosemide, hypertension, edema, diuretics, and other health conditions and medications on our website. 
so check out our blogs in the links below. You can even save money with your ferrosamide prescription by purchasing it from our wholesale price list for only $30.